So, Sheffield went to get back to playing football, and it is an away game at Bristol City. Not the other side. Hello and welcome to this video. I hope everyone is well and is doing okay. I hope you are very much hunkered down from the weather. So Sheffield Wednesday has had a, what would be called a, a Sheffield Wednesday week. It's been a Wednesday. Um, we've had all the off-field stuff with Chancery, the HMRC players being eventually paid, so HMRC bill, it's just all been an absolute mess, let's call it what it is. But we get back to playing football, and this could be the turning point where maybe we see our first away win, win of the season, because we got our first win of the season versus Rotherham, now we need to go to Bristol City, who are currently managerless, just like we were for a bit. Um, Nigel Pearson got relieved of his duties, and now they are looking for a new manager. I think one of the leading people is uh, the Oxford United manager. His name is just blown away at my uh, head now, which is, yeah, I think it's Lee Richardson or something like that. Uh, I think that might be right. Anyway, we're playing Bristol City, who are currently in 15th place. Let's go look at their stats. Their stats are 5, 3, 6, 18 points this season, 1 point. 2-9 per game, 15th in the championship. Home record is 2-2-3, two, two, 8 points. Away record is 3-1-3, three, three, 10 points. Better away record than home record. 15 goals, goals against 16. Minus 1 goal difference, 15.9 uh, and 1.5 diff. So, their last game was a 2-0 loss versus Cardiff City as well. So, we are going to have to try and use some of that new... Um, manager bounce if you if you like to call it but also can you like share and subscribe to the channel much appreciate it liking out the algorithm share and get in front of people facing and subscribing like if you know you like channel hit that notification bell to let you know when videos go live and if you want to become a member memberships are from 4.99 and 12.99 uh it really does help the channel keep the electric going but if we can build on that 2-0 win versus rotherham and get the camp really starting to gel we need to go on a run now, uh, and we need to go on a run, and Daniel is starting to see us play some really good football. You've got the added thing, it looks like Bailey Karamachi is in Grant in the first team training now. Maybe there's going to be some games where we see him come off the bench and play, even maybe start, you never know. Now, this is the thing, we've got to start looking at things like that as a positive. The players seem to like have bought into the style of play. We got to try and work out where things happen next in this squad. So hopefully we can see a win against Bristol City. The tails will be up a little bit. Try and start with some of those um, defending mistakes that we've done in the past. But let's see if we can just go and get an away win. It would be fantastic if we could, let's be honest, and just keep that run a little run going till the uh, international break and then do more work on the training ground and then come back. We've got a big mountain to climb, but if we can get a run going, we could potentially get out of this. But it's a long season, a lot of games to go. We've just got to see what happens. There is a bit more of the positive buzz on the football pitch side itself. So let's see what happens, and hopefully we can get all three points versus at Bristol City. But I'm in, under no illusion that this is going to be quite a hard game to do. Uh, a team that wants to show what they can do when a manager gone is always a team that's always interesting. So let's see what happened. Bristol City of the weekend, three o'clock kickoff, and we'll find out where we are at with it. 